Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better man. Big for the win! Have you ever seen a shot under those circumstances, like no. left, like that challenging, like that? No. I don't think we'll see it either. It's very special. Yes, Luca. That floater by Kyrie Irving was just unbelievable. But I wasn't surprised. I'm not going to be surprised because it's Kyrie Irving. It's what he does. It's also what you do, Guka. We seen you do this before in the playoffs. In the bubble, we seen you made an amazing game when it stepped back three over Reggie Jackson in the bubble versus the LA Clippers. But yes, that that Florida by Kyrie Irving was unbelievable. So, in today's video, we're going to dive into the Dallas Mavericks. Why I believe they are the biggest threat in the West. And they are looking like title contenders right now. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back and get with another video. Now, if y'all enjoy NBA con content, y'all love NBA commentary, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you do. I'm dropping every week for y'all. I'm going to be dropping even more for y'all with the playoffs coming, coming up soon. And share this video with your friends and family out there. I appreciate y'all for the support. Now, I'm going to dive in for the good and the bad for the Dallas Mavericks. The good thing for the Dallas Mavericks is y'all got Luka and Kyrie. What Luka been doing over the last stretch, the last couple weeks, been unbelievable. He can be on pace to challenge Russell Westbrook's triple-double record. He could be on pace, not this year, but if he continues to be Luka Doncic and these triple-doubles, he can really challenge, challenge Russell Westbrook's triple double, triple double crown. Google uh, ended up putting up thirty seven points last night. Tonight, Kyrie Irving had twenty four. The rest of the team, we're going to dive into that. Like I said, Luca and Kyrie alone, nobody can stop them two. And that's going to be the biggest problem for the rest of the teams in the West. Especially the Dallas Mavericks. The Dallas Mavericks are sitting at the eighth spot right now. But they are tied with the Sacramento Kings and the Phoenix Suns. If they can jump both of them and be the sit seed, they will face the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round. Now, is that a good matchup for the Dallas Mavericks? It, at first, it will be a no but because of Car Anthony Towns being out, now it'll be a yes. Even though Minnesota Timberwolves still have one of the best defenses in the league, and they have that bad man, Anthony Edwards, they, there's nobody that's going to stop Luka and Kyrie day in and day out. If Dallas is up as a seventh seed, they will challenge the team they just played tonight. In the Denver Nuggets, which they could definitely challenge them in the seven game series. Do I think they'll win? No. But can they win? Yes. I don't believe they could because the, the, the bench depth is not there as the Denver Nuggets. Then they can get to the A spot, which they will face the O. They will be in the play in as same thing with seven seed. They will be in the play in. If they could stay, stay at the eighth seed, get into the playoffs, they would face the OKC Thunder. Which, honestly, as much as I love OKC, they can beat OKC. They can beat them. Now, the bad side. So, Luka did his thing, 37 points. Kyrie, unbelievable floater for game winning. 24 points. 
As I see the rest of the rest of the team, I see the box score. Max Cleaver, 21 minutes, zero points. Tim Haraway, 18 minutes, one point. PJ Washington, y'all got in the trade, 31 minutes, four points. Daniel Gaffer, 24 minutes, eight points. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a combined 13 points from them guys. That is not going to cut it in the playoffs. That Luka and Kyrie needs help. And I thought, and listen, it's a bad game, but it's the pattern of this team. The inconsistency from the rest of the squad. The P.J. Washington. Tim Holloway especially. You need to stay consistent. And that's the biggest thing. I Honestly, with the Dallas Mavericks, I don't really care about seeing about talking about defense anymore. Because I, I'm looking I'm looking at the schemes. I'm looking at the possessions of the game. I'm looking at how they switch in every time. Every time a, a guard is going to the paint, I'm looking how they switching on a, on a three point line. I'm looking how they contesting shots at the rim in the in the in the paint. They're trying defensively. They are trying at least. They they have gotten better elite a little bit. They're still giving up a lot of points, but they're trying. It's the inconsistency. This got to stop. When it comes to the playoffs, these guys have to be consistent. They got to show up for Luka and Kyrie because Luka and Kyrie is going to show up. PJ Washington, there's no reason for you to have four points in 31 minutes. Max Cleaver, what is the point of you being out on the court if you're going to just going to stay in the corner all goddamn day? And that's the that's the problem. The whole this whole team. This is the bad side of Dallas Mavericks. Offensively, the pick and roll action is beautiful. Love it. I love the energy Daryl Lively is, is bringing to the team off the bench. I love the energy that Daniel Gaver is bringing, bringing energy when y'all traded for him. Yes, he only had eight points, but at least he did crash the glass. At least he did contest shots defensively. These guys are standing in the corner. That's all they're doing. Can you at least cut? Can you at least switch? Can you at least get to the basket? Can you at least make some screens? Instead of just watching the pick and roll action, instead of just watching Luka and Kyrie cook and step back on folks all goddamn game. If you just going to stay in the corner and be bystander, we might as well give you an extra Gatorade because you know you look like you tired. You look like you just have your, your hands on your knees all, all whole possession while you're letting... Luca, Kyrie, and Daniel Gafford cook. And Derek Lively gets to the basket. Teams defensively are gonna dive into that and be like, oh, we, we're just gonna let these other guys beat beat us. Luca and Kyrie, we, we can't stop them, but the rest of the guys, they can't do nothing. Y'all gotta fix that, Dallas. Y'all have to fix that in a hurry. Because, yes, in the playoffs, nobody's going to stop Luka and Kyrie. And that's going to be the biggest issue with, with the opponents. And why I believe Dallas has a potential to go far. But they also have a potential to get knocked out first round if Luka and Kyrie struggles and they keep, keep pivots on the game. And you have the rest of the guys, the P.J. Washingtons, the Tim Hardaways, the De Dante Atsums. They just staying in the corner being bossed and is Max Kleber not doing nothing on the court. And they're missing shots too. Dang, we have a bigger problem. And the bench, bench depth is not really there. It's not. So it's all literally a Luka and Kyrie's hands, but Luka is so great that I believe they, they could go far. Stay consistent. The rest of the team needs to be consistent. We need to see more out of Tim Hardaway. We need to see more out of Daniel Gaffer a little bit. We need to see more out of P.J. Washington. P.J., playoffs are coming up.
you got to step up. We got to at least get, get 15 out of you. We got to get at least 15 out of Tim Hardaway. We got to at least get 10, 10 points out of Dante Essam. Max Kleber, at least two threes. If you're going to stand in the corner and be a bystander statue, at least you can make some, some threes in the corner. These other guys around Luka and Kyrie need to step up because the opponents y'all going to face in the playoffs. Here we go. It's three, there's three opponents. Right now, y'all are currently in eighth seed, tied with the Kings, and tied with the Phoenix Suns. If y'all get in the, to the sixth seed, again, y'all will face the Minnesota Timberwolves. Once again, they can be had. You know why? Love Anthony Edwards, but not much experience. Not much experience. Even though he is that dude, the rest of the team, is going to be left in dear in dear headlights trying to guard Luka and Kyrie and trying to score offensively. Rudy Gobert, I don't care what he does. Let's be honest. Okay? Cool. Great defense. What is he going to do offensively? Now, Denver. Obviously, Denver are the defending champions. Denver are the team is the team to beat. Denver has the deepest bench in the league still. Denver has everything to defend their title. They do. But Luka and Kyrie can have something to say about that. If they get it going, which they will, if the rest of the team gets it going around them, Denver look out. That can be a seven-game series. It can OKC, they can be had because of experience. I love Shea. Chet is the real deal. J-Dub is going to be a star in this league. But they can be had. So, Dallas, those three teams, y'all can get past them, y'all can go far. But in, for, in order for y'all to go far, PG Washington, give them 15 points. Tim Hardaway, stop being so sporadic, stop being so streaky, and actually give you a, give, give Dallas at least 15 points. At least, if you can get 20, that will be amazing. Matt Scriber, if you're going to come off the bench and get minutes, you better give some quality minutes instead of zero points. You better at least make two threes. Okay? Dave Gafford, keep doing your thing. Not going to lie, you balling. And another thing about Dallas I, I haven't even mentioned that is a great thing they're doing and why teams should be a lookout, teams should be afraid of Dallas right now. They're crashing the glass. They made they gave Jokic a tough time. They are crashing that glass. It's not just Daniel Gafford and Derek Lively and Luca. Kyrie is getting rebounds. He has seven rebounds. The other players are, are getting rebounds. So if Dallas, the consistency is there, because this chemistry looks pretty solid, but y'all gotta move the ball a little more. Instead of just, just the same pick and roll because teams are going to capitalize on that. They're going to key on that, and they're going to stop that. Okay? They're not going to stop looking carry, but they're going to stop the pick, the pick and roll action, and they're going to let the other shooters try to, try to beat them. Dallas, y'all fits that. Y'all can go far. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your ball like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. If the Dallas Mavericks are going to go far in the playoffs, are they title contenders? Are they threats? Who's going to come out the West? Who's going to come out the East? And I appreciate y'all tuning up this video. It's being both Will and I'm out.